hello darlings welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i achieved these really soft and beautiful curls on this crochet lace wig which i made for myself i recently uploaded a video sharing with you guys how i made this wig from start to finish and guys you want to look at that video it's definitely a game changer so yeah today we're just going to be focusing on how i did these curls so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell and just keep on watching so this is what the hair is looking like. So I'm just going ahead with my shear and just trimming off the thinner end portions of the hair. Guys, I really love how this wig came out. I cannot stress that enough. So I'm just going ahead first, putting these big twists in the hair, just to section it. And as you guys can see right here, this wig is so flexible, so versatile. You can have a center part one day and a side part the next day. This is what the parting is looking like. It looks so natural. Now after sectioning the hair into these big twists, I'm just gonna split each twist into two pieces and um, use a little bit of moisturizer just to soften the hair before using my flexi rods. So I'm just wrapping the hair around the flexi rods. Now I wanted these curls to be soft and not too tight. So I'm not really twisting the hair while I'm wrapping it. I'm just kind of keeping it semi-flat but not totally flat. Like you guys can see the hand movement that I'm doing right here. I'm just kind of keeping it tamed and just carry it around the rods because I still want the curls to be really soft when it's finished. So I just continue to rod all the hair to the flexi rods until it's finished. And after rotting all the hair, I went ahead and I hot watered it off camera. Now I'm about to install the wig to my head. And I'm just showing you guys these two um, wig clips that you can attach to your wig. You can either use this one, which will give you a bit of a looser hold to your head. Or you can use this one, which will fasten it a lot more secure. I did not install any clips to it at first. I just wanted to try the wig to see how it would sit on my head and how I felt comfortable with it before I went ahead and put in any clips in it. So I only put in clips afterwards. Now I've taken all the rods out of the hair and I'm installing it to my head. I already sort of combed through a bit of the right side of the curl to show you guys the difference. As you guys can see that side look a little bit more um, looser and the curls on the left side is a bit more defined so I could have stopped with how the curls look on the left side but I wanted it to be a lot fluffier and that you wouldn't see the definite curls in it so I'm just going in again now and using my fingers to separate the curls a little bit more after separating the curls I'm going back in with my shear and 
cutting um, the portions at the front so that it's a bit shorter than the portions at the back. And you want to hold the scissors at an angle so that it does not come out straight across. I'm just using my fingers to kind of stretch out my baby hairs and you can go ahead and put some gel if you want there but I didn't want any gel so I'll just be putting some moisturizer on my baby hair to lay it down a little bit more. So I'm just using my brush to brush it in um, to blend in with the rest of the wig. Next, I'm going ahead and putting some concealer on my parting. And then I'm just taking this brown lipstick that I've been wearing for the past few weeks and I've just been loving and just just to finish off this look so yeah this is the finished look guys and you can also pin this hair back I did also use some bobby pins to hold it here um, back like you guys see, see it here now So this is it for this video guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful if you did and you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead right now and just hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications that way you will not miss any of my weekly uploads also guys before you leave please don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video